In this and the next few videos, we will discuss about statistical testing and estimation. Together, sometimes they are called testimation. As the name suggests, there is a testing part and there is an estimation part. We are going to talk about estimation first and then testing. Let us take a very simple example. We are all fans of cricket and let us say Sachin uses a bat, a single bat in all his matches and the only deciding factor in determining how well he is going to score in a match is the weight of his bat. Now we all know that Sachin used to like to use very heavy bats. So let y be a random variable which denotes the number of runs Sachin scores in a match and the weight of his bat theta is the only parameter. What does that mean? By definition it means that if we know theta we know everything about how much how well Sachin is going to perform in a given match. If we know theta the weight of his bat we would know what is the probability of Sachin scoring a duck well we sure don't want him to do that but nonetheless we can calculate the probability of Sachin scoring a century and we can calculate the probability of Sachin scoring anywhere between 50 and 100 so the y the random variable can take a value between 50 and 100 so that probability also we can determine if we know theta basically if we know theta we will be able to calculate all such probabilities and what we have is a sample of Sachin's runs in the last let's say n matches n can be 100 matches we have his score in the last 100 matches which are given by y1 in the first match y2 in the second match and so on yn is his score actual observed score in the nth match then if we ask the question what is the value of theta the problem becomes one of estimation essentially we need to find out theta from this sample of Sachin's runs in the last n matches this problem is one of estimation the other problem the problem of hypothesis testing is to test several hypotheses on the parameter well one may be interested in testing hypothesis on not just the parameter but also on the probabilities but here we will restrict our discussion to hypothesis testing on the parameters uh, for example in this simple case uh, i have given an example of a bat manufacturing company who thinks that sachin's bat's weight is 10 kgs is that hypothesis correct if we are examining that problem then it becomes a problem of hypothesis testing let's now talk about statistical models one of the simplest models that one can use something that we have seen earlier is a linear model here the random variable which is the dependent variable y is a function of the independent variable x and the relationship between them is linear here the parameter set theta is defined by these two parameters beta naught and beta 1 which represent the slope the intercept and the slope of the relationship respectively this is a type of a model however there may be other types of models and the most common types of models used in statistics is something called probability distributions so for example here instead of writing a function of y such as this we write a function of y like so where little f of y is called the probability density function the notation f little f is always used to denote the probability density function the cumulative distribution function CDF is represented by the capital letter F 
If you are not familiar with the concepts of probability density and cumulative distribution functions, I would request you to please brush up these concepts. Now here we see that there is a single parameter theta that defines the probability density function, which means that if we know theta, we know everything about the distribution. What do I mean by everything about the distribution? Essentially, we will be able to calculate all the probabilities. A probability of y, the random variable, taking any values less or equal to a given value. Let's say 10 or 9 or 8. What is the probability of y being less than or equal to 0? What's the probability of y being less than or equal to 10 and so on? And these probabilities are something that are given by the cumulative distribution function. Once you know what is the probability of y less or equals to 0, it is possible to calculate what's the probability of y greater than or equal to 0 also. Similarly, you can calculate the probabilities of y lying between two constants, a and b, and so on. Essentially, theta is something that characterizes the distribution and if we know theta, we know everything about that distribution. Then, what do we mean by fitting a distribution? You would have heard this term. Let's say I give you uh, marks of students, 50 students marks in this course C764, total marks out of 100, I give you. And I ask you to fit this probability distribution which is given by this expression. What is meant by fitting? Fitting a distribution means nothing but finding out the parameter set. So in this example, this would mean determining the value of theta from the observed sample. So we have the last n matches score of Sachin and we are going to find out what is the weight of Sachin's bat from that sample of n matches. There are two broad approaches to carry out testimation. One is the frequentist approach that we will be discussing in details in this course. The alternate method is what is called the Bayesian approach. Which unfortunately we are, we are not going to discuss in this course. So testimation essentially consists of estimation of parameters theta and doing some kind of hypothesis testing on these parameters theta. Estimation of parameters again consists broadly of two major steps. One is to finding out the point estimate, a single value of theta, which we will denote by theta hat. And this is not enough because what we have observed is a sample of size n. We could have observed another sample of some other size or of the same size but a different record altogether in which case your estimate of theta hat this would be different let's say you observed the first 100 matches of Sachin's career and estimated a value of the weight of his bat and then you look at the next 100 matches of Sachin's career and estimate the weight of his bat. These two estimates would be different from each other because of something called sampling variability. One can quantify what is the sampling variability around this parameter theta by giving an uncertainty range which is called the confidence interval. It's a range of uncertainty. So CI, confidence interval of theta hat, also should be provided.
and this I cannot stress enough. There are many studies which simply provide the point estimate and stop at that. It is not sufficient to provide just the point estimate. I want you to note and get this straight in your heads. Whenever you, you report a point estimate, you should always, always report the confidence interval associated with that estimate. And next comes hypothesis testing, where we see that there is, if there is enough evidence to reject a hypothesis or not. Now, this is a very negative way, but this is how convention in statistics is. We do not test a hypothesis to accept it. We always test a hypothesis to see if it can be rejected or not. Yeah, for example, you can have a null hypothesis, which is denoted by H sub 0. The null hypothesis may be what the bat manufacturing company thinks that theta is equal to 10 kgs whether this hypothesis can be rejected or not against an alternate hypothesis ha sometimes it is also written as h sub 1 that can be theta not is equals to 10 kgs so these are the kinds of hypothesis that we test on hypothesis testing this is the basic idea behind frequentist approach of testimation. Let us now talk a little bit about this guy theta. As we have noted earlier, theta represents the true parameter. Uh, this may be slightly discouraging to hear, but theta is something that is never possible to be known. We really, really never know what the true parameter is. What we can estimate is what is called an estimator. And one can, using some methods, derive a functional form for this estimator. And any particular value that this theta hat can take would depend on the sample. A value taken by theta hat is what is called the estimate or point estimate. And this is what we observe from a given sample. We also noted earlier something called sampling variability and theta hat, the estimator, has a distribution. This is an uncertain, this is a random variable which has a sampling distribution.